on with my jazz tutorials. This week I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool, awesome text effect. We're going to switch things up a bit from doing regular tutorials and just do some text. Um, this week's tutorial is going to be a glass text effect. We're going to make some glass text. Um, I've opened this photo background here, as you can see. And I'll provide this for you in the, in the description below because it is going to be one of the um, best uses for this tutorial. But by all means, if you want to try it out with your own backgrounds, go right ahead. But I felt for this tutorial, this background photo looked really good and really showcased the glass effect more. But trial and error, go ahead and make some good use of this text effect using other backgrounds as well. No harm in that. Alright, so... Once you've got your background opened, you're going to immediately go over to your text here. And I have the special text already selected. It's called the Naughty Gal. Mmm, yeah. I'll provide that for you in the description as well, because I feel like this will also showcase the tutorial better. But by all means, go ahead and use your own font, because this will work with other fonts as well. But in case you want to use mine, I'll give it to you below. So click that, and you want to make sure that 150 point is where you're starting from. You can go up from there. You can get a, you can go 200, 100 point, um, or whatever. But just you know, see what looks good to you. I think 150 point looks good for me. But by all means, go ahead and go bigger. Go bigger, go home, right? <laughs> all right, that's where my text is going to be. I'm going to place it right in the middle. And I've chosen white for the for the color just because I feel like white's going to white's going to be good for this. Um, I know you're not going to see the white in the end, but I just feel like it might showcase it better, so yeah. Um, and make sure that you have sharp over here selected as well. I know some of you may have none or other ones, but sharp will go good with this. Alright, so you have that now. Now, we're going to duplicate this layer twice because you want to have three separate layers for this effect. Um, I already have it made here in my swat in my styles. But if I clicked this, it wouldn't show each individual layer. It would just show you the whole thing. And I kind of don't want to do that because I want you to see the whole thing from start to finish. So I'm going to do it step by step for you guys. Alright, so here we go. Control J twice. You should see copy and copy two. Um, we're going to hide copy and copy two. Because we're not going to work with those quite yet. We're going to work with the main layer. So go for your original text layer. Double click that. And immediately upon opening that, you're going to change the fill opacity down to zero. And you'll see why in the end why we do this. Um, it's going to showcase it really well if we do it this way. So go over here and add a drop shadow. Immediately add a drop shadow. And you're going to change the color to this fine color right here. Alright, you want to have that little blackish color there. Um, we're not going to go full black, just a little tiny black. Um, black gray. If you went full black, it wouldn't really look too good, I don't think, but might as well try it. I don't know, but I like this color better. So there we go. We have that. All right, so here we go. You're going to change your angle. Uncheck the use of global light, and you're going to change the angle to negative 52. And the PX is going to be 11, and the size will be 16. All right, you with me so far? All right, here we go. So we're now going to go over here, and we're going to change our blend mode to linear burn. And you're going to drop down your opacity down to 19. Oh. All right. And you should see that. If you see on my left side, you'll see my little preview. That's what you should see. All right. All right. We're going to go over here to Bevel and Emboss. And uh, we're going to select over here some cool stuff. Alright, you're going to change your depth to 83%. And change that size to 0. Change the PX to... No, wait, hold on. Ah, no. Change the size to 3 and the other one to 0. Ah, no, I know. I know, I'm sorry. Alright, 3. Alright, there we go. So you have size 3, and your softens P, 0. Alright, moving down here to your shading section. Um, Alright, we're going to uncheck this again. And you're going to have 0 for this over here. And then you're going to have 26, not 30. Alright, and you're going to change the gloss contour to number 3, which is right there. 
cone inverted. All right, you should see that. And we're gonna change the highlight and shadow mode just a bit. All right, we're gonna change this to um, zero, and this one to twenty-eight. And you're gonna have a linear dodge and a linear burn. Oh, wait a minute. Did I make? Oh, hold on. Yeah, all right. The uh, highlight mode is going to be 28. That's why it looked kind of weird on the other side. Yeah, all right, and then zero. All right, there we go. That looks better. All right, yeah. I was wondering why it was a little black, and I'm like, I shouldn't be seeing any black, but oh well. Okay, so that's it for that layer. Um, we're now going to go on to the next layers. So we're going to um, make this one visible. Copy the next one. And we're going to double click that one. And again, we're going to change the fill, fill opacity to zero. And we're going to again add another drop shadow. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Inner shadow, not drop shadow. Gosh, I should know this by now. I've done this tutorial already myself. Okay, so then we're going to change the color to the same one we used before. Seven. Oh wait, haha, 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 ha, ha, that's right. Okay, oh my god, I'm so stupid, sorry. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry, I was getting really confused with the numbers here. I had to think a minute. Wait a minute, what? Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, we're gonna use this for 24. Uncheck this and change that to 180. Oh, yeah. And this is gonna be one PX. And you're gonna change the size to zero. Alrighty, there we have it. We have that. Oh yeah, and you wanna also change that to um, linear burn, yeah. Forgot to mention that. All right, uh, yeah. Then again, go back to your Babylon and Boaz. And you're going to change the depth to 1,000, which is all the way to the end, by the way. And this is going to be 4. And this will be 1. All right, and then we're going to change this again. Uncheck that. And again, 0. 26. And you're going to choose the second one in. Boom! And you want to check that. Alright, we're going to change this to color dodge. And this to 4. This one to linear burn. And the opacity to 10. Alright, there we go. Woo, we're cooking. We're looking good. Alright, last layer. Oh yeah, last layer, baby. All right, click this one, and again, we know the drill, fail opacity down to zero. All right, opacity on a drop shadow, 82. Distance is two. Size is eight. Oh, what? Oh, right, and uncheck this, and change the angle to zero, and of course change your color to the other one we, we have been using. Alrighty, looking good, my friends, looking good. Alright, and this time we're going to also add an inner shadow, and you want to change the color to white. Yeah, you do. Alright, uncheck that, 22, 1, and 0, 0. Oh, and change your bubble to linear dodge. Where's that? Yeah. Okay, so there we are. And, oh, 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 and this one here. Click over here. Uh, click that. Yes. 
And also check that. Hmm. Something's a little off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. Uh huh. Okay. 90. And opacity is 22. There we go. Woohoo! Wait, that's a negative 90. My bad. Sorry, guys. I just keep looking at my preview and I'm like, why is it not looking the same? Okay. Bamba and Boss is next. Yeah. Alright, change your depth to 1000 again. Change that to 16. Uncheck that and do 0. And 40. Alright, check that. Linear storage and linear burn. 18 for that one and 8 for that one. Alright, now we're going to add a stroke. Going to choose this lovely gray color here. Change it from inside. Make sure that's a one. Make sure that's an overlay. And last but certainly not least, change this to 27. And oh yeah. That's basically it now. If you would like to save this to your styles menu so you can use it for future reference, all you gotta do is click the word new style, um, type in a random name, click OK, and boom! It ends up in your styles and you can use it again and again and again without having to go through all this crap. So, there you have it. That's the tutorial. It couldn't be more simpler than that. Um, I know it was awesome because everything is awesome when you use Photoshop. I mean, it's the art of awesome. That's pretty much our tagline. Well, it's my tagline, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, I like this tutorial. I hope you did too. Um, I thought it was pretty awesome. Um, again, go ahead and mess around with the background image and see what you can create. Um, you could add other cool stuff in here. You could add more text. You could add other cool stuff. Um, in my final image, you'll notice that I made, um, made it into my tagline on the top um, and stuff. And yeah, so... Uh, I hope you liked it, and as always, subscribe, comment, like, um, I like those kind of people, um, I like everyone, I love the world, um, and you should too, so, yeah, that's, I don't know what else I can say to tag you into, um, whatever, so yeah, alright, I'm gonna shut up now, so, bye.